biggest strength of our company, hands down, is our people, followed by our tremendous company culture. Cameron Mitchell is an authentic, creative entrepreneur. I think the brand that Cameron has built is really, truly, in every essence, a sense of family. He has a lot of people inside the company who started with him and have grown to incredible levels throughout the organization. Our company's held together, I think, by the glue, which is our company culture and values. Uh, we all live that company culture and values. It's alive and well. I tell people we don't just uh, uh, talk the talk and, and walk the walk, I actually say we run the walk. I think truly being able to embody and experience a place where you can bring your whole self to work, there's few places out there that really give you that ability. And when you find them, I think you should make sure that you embrace them. The community's been so good to us, so it's just a natural two-way street to want to give back and support our communities. We envision this building for a school of hospitality management and culinary arts. In Cameron's office one day, he pointed to a, a picture of that and said, how do we make that happen? Great leaders and great organizations know how important it is uh, to give back. Cameron and Cameron Mitchell restaurants give their time, their money, their expertise to causes that they care about, and the communities that they serve are better for it. We're really lucky to have them as a partner. All you need to do is look to your right or look to your left, and you'll see someone that's built their career with the company. There is a, a real uh, relationship uh, between what we do, what I do at Ohio State, and, and exactly what Cameron does at CMR. It's all about people and making sure that the individual has what she or he needs in order to be successful. Uh, personally and professionally. A person can see within an organization, you know what, I have a chance to be there for an employee to see that others have done that. That's testimony. If you're fortunate enough to work there, you're part of that brand, and you should wear it with pride. This is our beef tartare that we freshly ground our prime New York strip steak with truffle vinaigrette. Jamie started with us as a cook and, you know, was a sous chef, an executive chef, and now he's a corporate chef uh, in charge of all of our specialty restaurants. I started with Cameron Mitchell Restaurants my senior year in college. I initially wanted to get into the company into human resources, but knew that the company built on a foundation of promotion from within, so off to serving I went. Six months later, I interviewed for an HR internship, and 20 years later, I'm still growing my career as the Vice President of Human Resources. Cameron to Restaurants allowed me the balance to grow both professionally and personally. I started as a single college student, and over the years became a wife and a mother to two beautiful children, all while climbing the ladder. It's allowed me to be who I want to be and to grow in a way that fit me personally. At CMR, your career is truly limitless as long as you have the passion to go and get it. I remember fondly starting at Columbus Brewing Company as a server, meeting my wife there and really being inspired by Cameron. I'm here to tell you that it's gone very well since, 21 years, awesome mentors along the way, many openings, and a uh, lifetime of memories and friendships. When I think about Mark Weiss, uh, Mark was a server when we opened up the Brew Pub in 1996. Today, 22 years later, Mark is our Director of Operations for our Ocean Prime brand, which is our flagship brand, and he oversees restaurants all across the country. We just take such good care of our people, and our people are number one. We make chocolate milkshakes for everybody on their first day of orientation, and how we now today make thousands of chocolate milkshakes a year, and they've become the symbol of great people delivering genuine hospitality, and the answer is yes, what's the question? Story of a milkshake. So once upon a time, Cameron was at a restaurant dining with his family. And Cameron went to order a milkshake. A milkshake. A milkshake. A milkshake. A chocolate milkshake. He asked the server, can I please get a milkshake for my son? And the server at the time said, no, I'm sorry. And the answer was no. That's not something we really do. They don't serve milkshakes at the restaurant? Are you sure? 
He asked to then speak to a manager. The manager came back and said, um, It's not something on the menu. I don't know how much it would cost. All of our ice cream is pre-portioned. It's not what we do. No, no, no. No, sir, no. But Cameron says, Miss Cindy Wayne, we can make it. You have ice cream? Ice cream. I see chocolate syrup. Chocolate milk. You have syrup. You have a blender at the bar. While you're at it, why don't you go ahead and whip it up in a blender for me? And uh, we'll call it a day. They ended up making the milkshake, and Cameron decided after that dining experience that if you have the means to make something happen for someone, you have the ingredients, you have the wherewithal to do it, just do it and say yes. That whatever happened to his restaurants, he wanted the milkshake to be a symbol. It's become the symbol of great people delivering genuine hospitality. And the answer is yes. What's the question? After today, you are now an associate of mine, you're now an associate of Cameron Mitchell Restaurants, and I want you to feel welcome, and I want you to feel like this is gonna be a new home for you for hopefully many, many years to come.